Every day the sun radiates huge amounts of energy towards the Earth. Some of this energy reflects off the clouds back into space and some enters our atmosphere and reaches the surface. This solar energy behaves very differently depending on what kind of surface it encounters. If the land has few plants and scarce moisture, it simply produces heat and the land warms up. If the land is covered with plants, this energy behaves very differently. Plants have evolved to deal with solar energy in two very important ways. A tiny amount is captured through photosynthesis and transformed into chemical energy or biomass. Most of the remainder is captured by evaporating water as it is released from the leaf and transported away from the plant to keep it cool. We know this is transpiration. Each molecule of vapour transpired by a plant captures a bit of the sun's heat energy and carries it away. When this occurs across the whole landscape, it produces a cooler, more humid atmosphere, a protective ocean in the sky. At night, when the sun goes down or the temperature cools, the water vapour condenses into liquid again and heat energy is released. If there are lots of green leaves, this liquid water will form as dew on their surfaces. Some of this water will make its way down to the base of the plant, hydrating the soil. Thus, plants cycling water play a powerful role in determining how the heat generated by solar radiation impacts our environment.